Hi guys, welcome back to the next video. Today, quick review on a very cheap, 16 pound cheap OBD reader from Lidl. Um, let's see if it's any good, basically. Um, it won't be any good in relation to if you're a mechanic. This is basically for the um, DIYer. Um, if you've got a service light up, you've serviced your vehicle at home, it'd be good to get rid of that. Um, but like I said, let's give it a go. 16 quid from Aldi, oh sorry, Lidl. Uh, let's see how we get on. Right then, let's unbox it. So first of all, we've got the destructions, and because I'm a guy, we don't read them. And inside the box is just the tool, I think. So look, please go with me. Yeah, there it is. Just it's just come out, and that, ladies and gents, is it. That is all you get. Um, very very light. Doesn't seem too much in it. It's cabled. It's not wireless. Uh, I know. I know. For the instructions away, but the book's quite thick. Um, it probably just show you a few bits and bobs in here, how to do it, the diagnostics. Uh, let's have a look then. Let's see, goes through it in detail. Sorry about the lights, I'm sat in the car. It says here, once the vehicle is running, the OBD2 system is considered with checking the above components. So it tells you what it is in there. PCM, it mentioned about the PCM in the booklet. So I'll tell you how to use it. It's self-explanatory, how to use it really. Um, but let's have a look. Let's see what it says when we plug it in. For those that don't know, the um, on the right hand uh, steering car, the OBD port, is just underneath there. Uh, let's see if you open the door, make it a little bit windy, so I don't apologize. It's literally. There. There, you can see it with my finger. That's where it is. So we'll get it plugged into that. You can only plug in one way, uh, so let's get it plugged in. So, plugged in. First thing you're going to notice is the cable isn't very long and I'm pulling it quite tight, probably too tight, just showing it's still right down there, look, down here, but it's on, the keys are in, it popped up straight away, um, so let's put the ignition on, as you're supposed to, so ignition on, oh. sorry, turn it off, the radio's on. So that's what it's showing now. Now let's try to get so if I enter that. So it's saying scan. It's reading menu DTC. This is when you're gonna revert back to the book, guys. I know I was being a bit um, silly earlier, but get your book out. Uh, you can scroll through all these, uh, but it's good. To, to have a look at refresh in the booklet. So as you saw there, look. Man showing no codes. Um, so what you could do if you add, say them engine management like there, look. You can turn that off. Uh, I won't do that because mine's already off. I don't need mine on. So scroll through it, you've in. It'll tell you your number, your VIN number. I won't scroll on here because you'll be able to see it, everybody. Um, hopefully you didn't catch that. <laughs> I'll edit that bit out. So, oh. Rescan. To read in. DTC. Enter. No codes. So, all in all, yeah, it's okay. It's good if you want to 
with the VIN number, just to double check it is the car you believe you've got via the ECU. If you've got a service light on or engine management light on, ideal for that, send it off. Uh, is it worth 16 quid? Yes, it is. All day long. Um, is it going to help you diagnose complex matters? No. Is it going to help you diagnose issues with your car? Maybe, but it's nowhere near going to be as good as uh, your most expensive tools. Um, top of my head, like, like your Snap-on or your very, uh, very good diagnostics tools uh, for this car. It's a cheap, cheap as chips little tool. It's always good to have in your little toolbox. Can you use it on any car? It's not specifically for the Mazda. So if you've got a, a service light on any of your cars, it'll work on them and you can just service the car, obviously, and get rid of the um, the sign on your dashboard, the warning light on there. So that's it, folks, for this one. A very quick review of that uh, from Lidl. You'll probably get it from Amazon as well. Cheap as chips. Um, yeah, I'd get one for 16 quid, um, and you want to service your car, it's really good for that, and if you've got your service light on. So thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Uh, it really does help the algorithms, as I said before. 80-90% of people viewing these videos um, aren't subscribed, so please do, um, and I'll make another one shortly. Thanks so much. Take care.